Hi guys, uh, it's me again. I'm here to do a video of a couple of new East Saint Laurent products that I just picked up, and some, and they are new to the East Saint Laurent line. Um, this one right here is the Couture Palette Mon Paris Edition. I guess that's how you say it, Mon Paris, Mon Paris, and is an eyeshadow palette. There are five eyeshadows to it. And this is actually in collaboration with a perfume that they have coming out. A new one is called Montpourri also. And I don't know what it smells like because I haven't opened it yet. But let's see, does it have... Uh, no, it doesn't have the notes on it. But I can link in a down bar the notes in this perfume in case you're interested in it. And actually this eyeshadow palette. You open it up and it has these beautiful colors to it. And it looks like three of them are very shimmery. This one maybe is satin, and this one is a matte. So we're going to swatch that. This is a pretty shimmery lilac color. This is the shimmery. It looks like a white on camera, but it actually has a shift of pink to it. It's really, really gorgeous. And then you have this beautiful, I would say it looks gray in the pan, but it's actually more of a, a whitish gray. It's really pretty. There we go. And that's also shimmery. These are more, um, to the touch, they are more grainy. So they probably have a lot of fallout to them. I haven't worn this yet, so I'm not sure about that, but... I know this one is a little smoother than these two. And then you have definitely a satin gray eyeshadow. Very pretty. Let's swatch these for you. This is a beautiful, beautiful palette. And that's what it lo looks like. And like I said, the first two colors are more... Um, more grainy feeling to the touch. So I would recommend maybe some flip, Fix Plus with that. And then that third to the last shade there. The third one. The gray color. The shimmery one. That one is not really showing up as much as I'd like it to. So I'm going to see if, um, if I can perhaps fix that a little bit. It's really pretty. It'd make a good lid color. If you like, um, if you like more sheer shadows, that would make a good lid color. And then you have the more satin gray color there. Let's see if I can swatch that again for you. Why is my throat being all scratchy? What is going on with that? <laughs> That's really pretty. It's very smooth, that gray color there on the end. It's very smooth. I would use that as a blending, uh, blending crease color. That would be gorgeous. And now I'm going to swatch this gray color in the middle. And I'm actually going to re-swatch that because I have some glitter on my hand. There we go. I'm going to swatch that baby. And this is the middle matte color. Very, very pretty. This is actually really a gorgeous palette. Um, it's not quite as pigmented as um, some of their other palettes, but it's very pretty. It's very, um, I would call it more of an accent palette. I would use maybe, let's say, um, maybe like the Too Faced Bonbons palette. I'd use that. And then this would be the accent palette. Like you could put an eyeshadow on and maybe kind of pat this over the eyeshadow and maybe use this as a crease color. But it would make a great accent eyeshadow palette. It's really pretty. Very gorgeous. And of course, if you are... Um, I don't need to wipe my hand off. <laughs> if you're into... If you're into um, limited edition packaging, I'd hop on it. It's really pretty. Gorgeous packaging. And then... Onto this highlighter. 
this is also limited edition, I believe. It's a Touche Clat Lumiere Divine Highlighter. It's a highlighting powder. Highlighting finishing powder. So you would use it like you would the Girl on Meteorites. Um, you would put on your foundation, your setting powder, your blushes, all this stuff. And then when you're done with all your makeup, you would put this um, over your face to kind of blend everything in and but I mean you use it how you want to whatever works for you but that's what's intended for <laughs> but if you're like me I just use products however they work best for me so this is what it looks like and it has a little bit of shimmer to it it's actually more um more of a refined shimmer definitely very subtle a champagne color and then you have a swatch right here. It's actually really pretty. Very, very pretty. Um, let's see if I can swatch it so you can really see it. And that's it right there on top. It's very pretty. But it's very subtle. Um... It has a shift of pink to it. You really can't see it on camera. God, I have my camera. I have my hand all over the camera. Sorry about that. <laughs> but it has a beautiful pink shift to it. I'm going to blend that out for you. I'm going to blend that out and let you see what it looks like when it's blended. It's very pretty. Like, if you... It, do, it does have some shimmer to it. Um... If you like more subtle highlighters, I would go with that. Let's see if I can get one more swatch out of this baby. Because I really want you to see the gorgeousness of this. Um, I really want you to see it. Focus, dude. Focus. Come on. Well, it wants to focus, but it's... Okay, there we go. Let's see if we can get it to... um. I want to kind of layer this on. Um, you could put on like a light, um, a light coating of it on your cheeks, maybe, and it would give give you like a subtle shimmer. But if you pack it on, this is what you get. How gorgeous is that? It's beautiful, right? This is a beautiful highlighter, guys. I am just really take it aback now I would not use this as a finishing powder I'd use this as a highlighter so there you go and it's actually a champagne color a little bit of pink in it not sure if I said that but that is that are those are my swatches of these beautiful new, new Yves Saint Laurent palettes I'm, I'm I, I like them I haven't used them yet but they're pretty um, I hope you like this video. I hope it's educational for you. Um, I will link down below where you can find these products. I also have the links below um, of another video I did of these products when I first got them. I have the links below, but I'll, I'll put them in this video too, so it'll be convenient for you to find them. All right, well, I hope you're having a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.